Hi guys. <laughs> um, I'm gonna be real with you. This is just gonna be a series that I want to make because I want to scream about my favorite characters. So yeah, this is what it's gonna be. And right now I am it last. I'm in my Yamaguchi phase. Okay. Okay. Let me explain. Okay. A dog screaming outside. I don't know if you can hear that. So I cosplay a um, decent variety of characters, I think. I don't think they're all showcased on this channel. Um, some are showcased more on my Instagram. But a lot of the times the characters I cosplay, and I feel like this goes for a lot of cosplayers, is like a lot of times they're characters, you know, you identify with a lot and you like care about a lot. I mean, I guess since that's true for all, pe all characters or all cosplayers, like sometimes you just look at a character and you're like, hey, they look cool. I want to look like them, <laughs> but it's costly even, but sometimes you just like have like a character and like you don't even have to cosplay them, you just like see like a series or like a video game or like a TV show or a anime or manga and you're just like, you have one character and you're like, I love them with all of my heart. And for Haikyuu, Haikyuu um, being a volleyball anime, which is ridiculous, but I love it. Um, the character I love with all my heart is the one and only Yamaguchi Tadashi. Now you might be thinking, why? <laughs> or some of you might be thinking, which one's Yamaguchi again? Because I do that because Yamaguchi Tadashi, my best boy, is, I guess he's technically a background character in Haikyuu. He, um, like he hangs out with, yeah, he's a background character for Haikyuu. Um, he is the freckled one, the one who was bullied as a child, the one who hangs out. He's the, he's Tsukishima's friend. That's who he is. The one who always goes, Siki, Siki. And I don't know why, but I love him. Like, when I first started Haikyuu, I was like, and Tsukishima and Yamaguchi showed up. First of all, I hated Tsukishima. I was like, who's this asshole? And then Yamaguchi, I was like, Who's this guy who thinks he's funny? No! And I was just like, I hated both of them. And then as time grew on, I was like, ah, Tsukishima's not that bad of a guy. And I was like, what's with this Yamaguchi kid? And then as more episodes went by and we got to see more of him and see more of his like story and his background and like what he wants, I just got really emotionally attached to him. And then I started like obsessing over him. Like I, I was just like, I knew I wanted to cosplay someone from Haikyuu, but I was just like, who do I want to cosplay? And I was just like, Yamaguchi. Fucking Yamaguchi. That boy. And I just like kind of want to explain why I love Yamaguchi so much because I feel like a lot of people like, they either don't know who Yamaguchi is, they don't really care, or but then like, I have like some really strong reasons for liking Yamaguchi and I'm like, but then all the time I'm just like, I like him. I like him. <laughs> um, but also, yeah, I, I've been in a Yamaguchi mood and I kind of just want to talk about Yamaguchi for a hot sec. So that's what this is. So I guess he's Yamaguchi, he's a background character. That's what he is. He is a background character. He is, he gets like, when he, he first shows up, he's just this dude hanging out at Tsukishima. He does not get that many lines. He doesn't get to play in the series. And you're just like, oh yeah, of course, that's a background character. But Haikyuu has a way of like taking background characters and giving them like a couple of episodes or just giving them a couple of lines and just showing like what they care about and why they care about it and for Yamaguchi it just made me like really passionate like he was like bullied a lot as a kid <laughs> makes me sad he was bullied because he has freckles freckle boy even though like in the show you can't see his freckles a lot of the time which I'm salty about give him more freckles um but so he was, he was just like, he was like this really like shy, like anxious kid who like got bullied a lot. And then one day this grown up fucking blonde bitch kid came up to him, called the bullies pathetic, walked away and Yamaguchi was like, all right, that's my best friend now. <laughs> like, he just started following around. He's just like, yeah, yeah, we're friends. Deal with it. Like, and he just made a friend like that. And now like him and Tsukishima would die for each other, and I love that. <laughs> like, and even though him and Tsukishima are really close, he is not afraid to also call Tsukishima out on his bullshit. Like when Tsuki is going through that whole fucking training camp arc and he's like 
being apathetic and stupid towards everything, Yamaguchi grabs him by his collar and is just like, <laughs> boy, <laughs> like, and I love that because like that's not like a direction you think when you first see this character. Like you 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 don't think he has like the guts or the will to, because when you first see it, it's like when they're first introduced, Yamaguchi's basically his sidekick. Like that's what. That's like kind of how it's framed at first. Like, oh yeah, Tsukushima is this like cool guy, and Yamaguchi is oh, just a sidekick who always says sorry, Suki, and but Tsukushima is always telling him to shut up. But then you see, really, you see Yamaguchi grow, and he's not just Suki's sidekick. He's his friend. He's his equal, and he's not afraid to pull Tsukushima down and be like, "You're being stupid. Knock it off." <laughs> and I love that about him. And he knows that he's not as good as all these other first years, and like. Kageyama and Hinata, they're like amazing, and he's just like, oh yeah, that's them. But then his best friend, Tsukushima, is also amazing. And he just. And that can be really hard, like, especially for like high schoolers, if you're like best friends with someone, you do everything together, and they're just way better at something than you. Like, they're amazing, and they get all this credit, and like, they're like so good, and everyone notices them, and then you're just kind of. They're, they're just like, oh yeah, there's. And you. Yep. You're his best friend. That's what you are. That's what you're defined as. And he knows this. He knows he's not that good at, like, volleyball. He knows he's, like, average. He gets put on the bench a lot. And But he then he finds something he's good at. He's like, I'm going to push myself. I'm going to work hard and I'm going to find something I'm good at. And I'm going to play this game that I love. And he becomes a paint server. And... I think it's really cool that he becomes- I think it's really cool that that's his position. Like, obviously he's like, plays, he like, knows how to set, he knows how to s- Does he set? He knows how to like, do- play the rest of the game, but the pinch server is what he's known as. He comes in, in a pinch, like, the other team sees this random freckled kid who's been on the bench, and they're just like, whatever, what can he do? And he fucking destroys them. And I love and, but the really cool thing is, it didn't happen right away. Like, with Kageyama and Tsukushima, kind of with Hinata too, like, they just kind of have, like, natural talent, right? Like, Kageyama's king court, oh yeah, he's amazing at setting. Hinata's, oh yeah, he's great at spiking, he can jump this high. Tsukushima, oh, he's this great blocker and all this stuff. Yamaguchi, when he first starts out as a pinch server, he doesn't do that well. He, I don't remember which one it's against. I think it's their first match against... Oh, with Josai, um, with Kawa's team, and I think he comes in for the pinch, and they're losing, and he doesn't make the serve. He doesn't. It hits the net, and, and yeah, he doesn't make the serve, and he's devastated. He's like, because he's like, that was the one thing I was supposed to be good at, but then you see him come back. You see him work harder, and you see how much he is willing to put into this game, and it pays off. Then he's fucking great at pinch serving and like it doesn't win them the game but it does he still contributes in like a way that he can he still helps his team the way that he can and that he's good at and it's <sighs> I love Yamaguchi I'm sorry I just I get really emotional about him and I guess I kind of relate to him because I'm out of high school now not too much out of high school though it's like I was in it a couple years ago but during high school I felt like a background character sometimes. You know, like, you're not, like, that popular. You've got, like, your couple of friends. Um, but in my senior year, especially, my best friend, she, um, was doing PSEO, so she was taking college classes, and so she wasn't there anymore. And my other best friend, um, was only at school for, like, half the time, and then she got to go home, because she was also taking a couple of college classes. So it was just me. It's just me walking around the schools. And, I guess I did kind of feel just like a background character. Like, neither of my best friends are there. People always assume they're just like, oh, Cassidy's there, that must mean that her best friend's nearby. Like, we're always grouped together. And it's nice to have a friendship like that, but then you realize what it's like to be when they're gone and what people think of you. Like, people expect you to be there, they expect you to have a role. And when your best your friend leaves and you're by yourself they just kind of go oh well what can you do why are you by yourself and so i guess yamaguchi being with this like being best friends with Tsukushima, he's like 
best friends with this really cool dude who saved him from bullying. And he's treated as a sidekick. But then we see him and he says, no, I'm not a sidekick. We're best friends, but I can be independent of myself. And I'm not afraid to tell people, and I'm not afraid to tell my best friend when he's being stupid, even it might cost us our friendship. Like, it wouldn't have, obviously, but Tsukishima's like, he's kind of a bitch. He's kind of a bitch. Like, he just, like, pushed his big brother out of his life, and there was a chance, like, a small chance, that he could have done that to Yamaguchi, but Yamaguchi said, no, I would be even more of a bad friend if I didn't yell at him to get his shit together. And that can be scary, like, if you're, like, best friends with someone, they're your only friend, and you have to jeopardize a little bit in order to get them to stop being stupid. <laughs> and so I was like, Yamaguchi, my boy, like, I just, he was so brave and, like, ugh, brave, I don't know, maybe I'm reading too much into this, but I just love Yamaguchi with all my heart. <laughs> and I was just like, I... I just really relate to him on like a lot of levels and I think he's and I think it's fucking hilarious because people like always see him with Tsukishima and they're just like ah Tsukishima's like a bad influence on him and whatever all this stuff. Yamaguchi's just as much of a little shit as Tsukishima is. <laughs> like Tsukishima makes like mean jokes and like remarks about people but Yamaguchi always laughs at them. He's not being like oh stop it Tsuki. He's laughing. He's snickering. He thinks it's funny too. <laughs> He's as much of a dick. I love it. And yeah. I love Yamaguchi Tadashi. And I'm just, I don't, I don't know. I've been on a Yamaguchi kick lately and I'm just like, I need to talk about someone and share my love for Yamaguchi. Have you heard about our Lord and Savior, Yamaguchi Tadashi? He saved my heart. This isn't my heart, this is my collarbone. Um, and I also wanted to share some, like, headcanons and stuff I have about him. Just because I want to. I, him and Tsukishi, I think Yamaguchi is bi as hell. Bisexual as hell. Like, and I also think he gets crushes on people just, like, immediately. <laughs> like, like, I think he, like, saw, like, Tanaka and he was like, oh shit, damn it. And he, like, got a crush on him. I think he, like, looked at, um... Kyoko, that's our manager, I'm pretty sure. I think he looked at her and got a crush on her. I think he had a major crush on Yachi. And I just, like, I just think he, like, gets crushes on people like that. Like, that's just, like, a headcanon I have for him, because I think it's hilarious. And he's just, he's also bi, so he swings both ways, so it's twice as worse. Because <laughs> he's just, like, he's just, like, always sitting in there panicking. He's just, like, everyone's really hot and I don't know what to do. <laughs> he's just panicking. It's one can I have for him. I like him and Tsukishima together, like, as a, like, as best friends that I like, um, the ship that they are, like, a couple together. I think that's cute. I also just like it when they're best friends. Because they're great best friends. I have a Yamaguchi playlist. I have a Yamaguchi Tsukishima playlist. I have a playlist for all the characters I cosplay. Um, and I was playing my Yamaguchi playlist, like, getting my makeup on, and it was a lot of real sad songs. <laughs> I was just like, damn, why do I have this many sad songs in my Yamaguchi playlist? Um, but I had cannons. He fucking, every time he, like, texts or, like, messages, he just uses a shit ton of emojis, like, all the time. Like, between every word, it's, like, an emoji. <laughs> like, um, I don't know why, but I think he would like spicy food. Like, I like the idea that Yamaguchi is really good at, like, holding spicy food, and he can, like, eat spicy shit all the time, and Tsukishima just can't. He can't do it. Like, a jalapeno is too spicy for him. Like, that- it, a jalapeno is spicy, wait, never mind. I just like to eat jalapenos, but like, he, he like takes one bite of something and he just like spits it out and he's like red in the face and Yamaguchi's like looking at him and he's like, what's wrong, Suki? And he's like shoveling it down. <laughs> I don't know why, I think it's funny. Um, uh, what other- I don't know, I just- I just love Yamaguchi. He probably like flinches really easily too. He's like, he's like me, cause I flinch at fucking everything. But he probably like gets like startled by like noises and stuff. I don't know why. It just seems like a nerves guy. Um, probably have more. I think about Yamaguchi a lot. Yeah, <laughs> that was this video. That was this video. Just me going on for how many minutes about how much I love Yamaguchi Tadashi. So thanks for watching if you watched. I don't know why you watched it. I hope it was enjoyable. It's just 
me ranting about Yamaguchi from Haikyuu. Um, yeah, I'm probably, I'll probably make more of these just because every so often I get into like cycles of this one character and I get like re-obsessed with them. Um, I'll probably do one about Tim, Tim Drake, because uh, I love that boy. Um, I'll probably do one about Izawa. So yeah. Let me know if you like it. Let me know if you love Yamaguchi as much as I do, because if you don't, get off my channel. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm not kidding. We are here for Yamaguchi. <laughs> you, that's why I came to this channel, right? For all the Yamaguchi content I post. <laughs> okay. I should go. Alrighty. Um, links to my... I'll put a link to my Instagram below if you want to follow it and see me wear Yamaguchi. <laughs> Alrighty. I've, I should go now. Alright. Bye-bye.